Hello everyone! Welcome back to our online session and this is Mambles and we are going to talk about Capstone Project. So are you ready? I hope everyone is ready. Okay, so let's start. Capstone Project. So here are our learning objectives. So number one is you should be able to explain the importance of a research or capstone project and give an overview by enumerating the steps and processes in making a paper for a research or capstone project. So dapat makita natin kung ano ba yung significance, no? Ano ba yung significance ng capstone project? Why do you need to, to do this? Okay? Number two is you have to be able to enumerate the steps and processes. So, dapat at the end of our lesson, you already know the process on how to make or create your capstone project from the start. Ano nga ba? Paano nga ba mag-umpisa? Ano ba yung mga kailangan natin? At ano ba yung magiging result nito? So, yun yung mga kailangan natin i-consider. Okay, so here is our table of content. So, we have your lesson preview, main lesson, the big picture, and the subject, wherein we are going to evaluate your um, understanding. Okay, to kick start, okay, so everything you do today is a result of your personality. Excuse me, your motivations and your habits. So, it follows that if you if you adopt a certain set of habits in life, you can make yourself be successful. So here's a good start. So um, uh, one significance of of this capstone project is that you will be able to have a view of your future, diba? So magkakaroon kayo ng understanding ng um, analysis on what is going to happen in the future and what you can do for the future okay next so uh, menti time men time so ito yung gagawin yung nalamang on yourself so here is the code ayan so yan yung code nya okay so next Imagine taking a trip to the Middle East. So, sino na ba ang nakapunta sa inyo sa Middle East? Kung nakapunta na kayo, you will have a perfect view of this scenario. No? So, now we have landed in Dubai. So, home of the Burj Khalifa. It is the world's tallest building at 829.8 meters high. It is also in one of the world's largest or world's hottest environments reaching up to 50 degrees celsius in summer so napakainit ng lugar na to so one of the difficulties of building the bridge was trying to figure out how to set 45,000 cubic meters of reinforced concrete in such extreme weather so napakahirap gawin nun na sobrang init ng environment so what is the solution to this so, we already have the problem. So, ang problema, paano nila itatayo yung building na yan? No? Eh, ang init-init ng lugar. Okay. So, what is the solution? So, here is their solution. Okay. So, a clever method of pumping ice liquid concrete into the 55,000 ton steel frame during the night. So, imagine, gabi nila ginawa yung work na yun. Okay. So, the result? is a big or is a building that is vertically over 800 meters high napakataas rather than horizontally all over the ground so makitid lang siya but it's really high imagine it is 829 point something meters so nap napakataas niya but here's the question no so how do you think the engineers and designers thought of this idea so what did they do Okay, how did they come up with this idea? Okay, so the solution, so we believe that they have the right question plus the right method and then they come up with the right answer. Okay, so there, the solution there is they did their research. They have the problem, they got the method correctly and they got the, the correct and perfect answer just to build the Burj Khalifa. 
Okay, so what is a capstone project? So we have here a picture on how are we going to understand capstone projects. So, dito, pagsasama-samahin nyo na lahat ng mga natutunan ninyo um, nung nag actually, nag-aaral pa naman kayo ngayon, no? During your, your, your um, school days na lower years, yan, pagsasama-samahin nyo na lahat, no? Aga nga yung grade 12 kayo. Okay? Andyan na lahat. I -i -i pasok nyo na lahat ng mga natutunan ninyo from your grade, lower grades up until now. Okay? And then, we will have here your research question. Maybe you will have your product development. And then, you will be able to solve problem for the community. Of course, para kanino ba itong gagawin natin is for the community. You will not do your research without anything. Diba? Without na, without any problem and of course, without any product or any development na pwede mong magawa just to solve this problem. Alright, so, a capstone research, a research or a capstone project is an integrating and culminating experience for you guys. In here, you will apply all that you have learned from the beginning so that you can do either answer a research question or develop a product or to solve a problem in the community. Gaya ng sabi ko kanina. It is more like the investigatory project you have performed in junior high school. So, if you had your um, investigatory project, medyo mas nakakalamang na kayo. Okay? Because you already have the idea of, of the lesson no? and the output as well. Now, the question is, ma'am, paano? No? How to develop a paper for a capstone project? So, paano gagawin? Um, I strongly believe that you already have the knowledge and the skills on creating your paper because you already have two researches this past years of your school year, no, itong grade 11 kayo and ngayong grade 12. So, meron na kayong background about it. So, this is just an overview and a review, of course, on what you are to expect in making your or developing your capstone project paper. Okay, so in the start, we have here a diagram, which is already a process, okay, on how to um, create or develop your paper, your capstone project. So we have here, select and define a problem. So you're going to select and define your problem. Okay, kailangan natin parte-partihin yan para mas maintindihan natin kung ano yung problema at kung ano yung method na gagamitin natin. Of course, you have your review, the scientific literature. What are the articles related to this problem? Meron na bang nagawang solution before? May mga na, na uh, ano ba yung mga ibang hypothesis about this problem? Okay? Next is you have to formulate your own hypothesis. What would be the outcome? Kaya Okay, ano kaya yung mangyayari when we do this method? Okay, kung gagawin natin tong, um, ano yung magiging result ng capstone project natin? Okay, on our own perceptions, no? Design methodology, so you have to design your methods, you have to collect data, and of course, after collecting data, you have to analyze the data that you have collected, and you have to make your conclusion and recommendations. And after this, you will face the panel for your defense. And after that, yay! Tapos na. Okay? Ibig sabihin, pag natapos na yan, graduation na. Right? So, I hope and I pray na lahat kayo ay makatapos on time. Okay? Next, capstone project is the integrating. Integrating meaning to combine and culminating meaning to finish off experience for you as a senior high school student. You have, you will have to either answer a research question or develop a product or to solve a problem in the community. Siguro ngayon may mga naiisip-isip na kayo na uh, mga research question, no? And uh, product na gusto nyong gawin or problema within the community na gusto nyong solusyonan. Okay? So, ayan yung mga pwede nating i-consider. Okay? So, these are the examples, no? Since you are STEM, 
Okay, we have here some problems in the nursing field, technology, engineering, and business. Okay, so improving pain management among nurses in the post-anesthesia care unit. Kasi mga anak, when it comes to nursing, no, or when it comes to anesthesia, syempre bakit ba nilalagyan or binibigyan ng anesthesia ang isang, pas isang pasyente? Para hindi niya maramdaman yung pain. Ngayon, pag sinabi mo post-anesthesia, meaning wala na yung effect ng anesthesia, most probably mararamdaman na ng patient yung pain. So, improving pain management. So, paano i-manage ng nurse yung pain na nararamdaman ng pasyente kapag natanggal na yung effect? ng anesthesia. Okay? Another one is increasing access to care among pregnant women in rural areas of Santo Tomas, Pangasinan through public health advocacy. I believe that dito naman sa Santo Tomas, sinis napakaliit ng um, municipality natin, kaya-kaya naman ng mga nurses natin na uh, i-reach out yung mga um, mga medyo mas maliblib lang lugar dito sa area natin. For example, doon sa Um, part na ng apartado pero part pa rin ng Santo Tomas yun, San Antonio no? so um, medyo malayo siya pero alam ko naman na napupuntahan pa rin ng mga nurses natin what about sa ibang lugar diba? how about sa ibang lugar should I say paano kaya nila nare-reach yung mga yun okay? so increasing access paano magkakaroon ng access next is prevention of rehabilitation readmissions for stroke Patient. So, ito naman kung ano ba yung mga pwedeng gawin. Rehabilitations for the stroke patients. So, syempre pag nag-stroke na yan, hindi mo alam kung um, aling part yung katawan niya ang hindi na pwedeng um, or hindi na makagalaw. So, anong mga rehabilitation ang gagawin natin para at least man lang ay mabalik yung daily activities nila no, na kaya na nilang gawin. So, yung mga ganun. Example din sa technology is that mobile learning how mobile applications open better learning for students okay another is computer recognition or vision and recognizing animal breeds and the other one is inventory management system for small scale businesses we also have here under engineering the development of integrated management system for choosing equipment and method to use for excavation irrigation. Wow! ba? Diba? So, mga anak, imagine this. Sooner or, or later, you will become engineers. No? Yung mga mag-engineering sa inyo. At eto yung mga ifi-face ninyo in the future. So, maganda ngayon na meron na tayong somehow a picture of what you're going to do in the future. Next is control and management on site constructions. No? Mostly for civil engineers, mechanical engineers, architectures, Designing Coast, Evaluation Guide, and Standards for Industrial Buildings. Ito na yung may mga magbibid sa inyo, no? Na, um, uh, sa construction materials, no? So, may building yan kasi usually kung nagpapatay tayo or nagko-construct tayo ng building. So, pamurahan ng price pero pagandahan pa rin naman ng quality. So, yung mga ganun. Next is under business. So, nakita ko naman sa inyo, sa sa list na na, na update na natin wala namang mag uh, wala naman ako nakita na mag mag business administration na courses but hindi natin alam baka after nyo or during your your um, work maiisipan nyo na mag-open din kayo ng business so pwede rin naman it's 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 possible naman no so yan So, supplier relationship management and its role in business. Next is a study of in enterprise risk management and its role in sustainable growth. And next is the strategic analysis of the hotel industry's business practices in Ordinetta City. Meron bang hotel ng Santo Tomas? Wala pa naman, di ba? So, the nearest that I, I know and yung medyo mas marami naman. Right? So, yan yung mga examples no, na, na related. Okay, next. What are the steps in completing a paper for a research or capstone project? So, ano na nga ba yung mga steps na kailangan nating pagtuunan ng pansin? Kasi I strongly believe mga anak that if you uh, follow the steps correctly, you will never go wrong. Okay? And mas magiging madali pa para sa inyo yung process. Kasi nga, 
step by step na siya eh. No? So, mas madali na siya. Number one, of course, is you have to select and define a problem. So, in here, you have to identify a scientific problem or a question. And you have to differentiate applied and basic research problems. So, an example here is the subject area is under education. So, the problem here is the effect of social media usage to academic performance of senior high school students. Pwede? Pwede. Okay, so, subject area education. The problem is the effect of social media usage to academic performance of senior high school students. So, yeah. Um, siguro, kayo pa lang, sa sarili nyo pa lang, masasagot nyo na. ba? Pero, this is an example only. Okay? So, ano kaya yung effect ng social media? Nakakatulong ba sa mga estudyante sa panahon ngayon or hindi? So, most probably, Sabi niyo, yes, ma'am, nakakatulong kasi we have online classes. And some of you, some of you might say na, hindi naman, ma'am, kasi imbes na mag-search ako, nagpa-pop up yung notification sa Facebook ko, tapos mag-Facebook na ako. ba Usually, ganun tayo, no? So, sana hindi naman. Okay, let's proceed. So, importante na you will be able to select and define a problem. No? So, dapat related siya sa... Um, in your course sa um, track na napili nyo, sa field of specialization na napili nyo para magbigyan na kayo ng overview ng mga pwede nyo expect during your college days and of course pagka nag-work na kayo. Okay, so next is the review. Review the scientific literature. So related literature diba? So select our set selection criteria for studies relevant relevant to a chosen scientific scientific problem. So review, digest, and concisely state the relevance of the studies cited. So kailangan yung maghanap ng articles, mga libro, which is sour, which has something to do with your project. Okay. Examples of this are textbooks and references from the library. You're searching the internet, of course. Yan naman ang pinaka-accessible sa atin ngayon. Published academic journals and periodicals. Next, after relating this to literature, some of the literatures, you are to formulate the hypothesis. Now, you have to formulate possible outcomes of the investigation. So, you have to have your own hypothesis. Okay? So, ayan, paganahin natin yung ating mga um, imagination. Okay? Importante yan in our critical thinking, lalo na. Okay? Example of hypothesis, which is related doon sa problem na prinisen ko kanina, a higher social media usage results to lower academic performance. Um, possible kaya yun? Okay. Malalaman lang natin yan pag kinandak natin yung research. Diba? Hindi naman natin alam, no? Yung situation talaga. Malalaman natin ang sagot yan when we conducted research. Okay? Next. After formulating the hypothesis, you are now to design the methodology that you're going to use. Okay, so design a strategy or sequence of steps that will address the scientific question at hand. Huwag tayong magpaligoy-ligoy when it comes to our methodology. Piliin na natin directly kung ano ba talaga yung makakasagot doon sa problema natin. No? Makakatulong para masagot yung problema or yung katanungan sa atin. Okay, examples of your methodologies. We have your experimentation. We have your case study. Survey, which is um, very, very popular na. Diba? when it comes to researches and of course we have the correlation study so expect that you, if you are going to um, develop a product you're going to do experiments diba? okay so ayan after designing your methodology you are now to collect data it's either on your experiments 
on your surveys, on your interviews, you are to collect data. So, select appropriate methods of data collection. Develop the criteria that will address the completeness of the data collection method. So, dapat maganda na kompleto ito para hindi na kayo pabalik-balik. Diba? Wala nang um, hindi na tayo magkaroon ng confusion. No? Ganon din sa mga maaabala natin na mga respondents natin kung meron man kung hindi man kayo experimentation no kung data collection kayo na um, under surveys or interviews ba diba? so para ayusin na natin ng maayos para minsanan na okay next our uh, examples are yung mga data na i-collect natin we have your age gender grade level social media use per hour quiz scores exam scores per you periodic grades. So, these are related with the problems that I have presented a while ago with regards to the students using social media. Okay? So, ano nga bang magiging performance? Mataas kaya pa rin? Or bababa na? So, ayun. After collecting your data, you are to analyze. Okay? So, analyze the data obtained from the investigation. Example of analysis is this. So, respondents with 3 hours and above of social media usage have periodic grades ranging 60 to 70. So, imagine 3 hours and above of social media usage. Okay. So, this is an example of um, analysis. Okay. So, ganito inanalyze yung data na nakolect natin. Okay. Next is, you have to formulate your conclusion and recommendation using the analyzed data. So, nakita natin na 3 hours na usage ng internet. No? Social media, should I say, nag-cause na ganitong percentage ng student ang merong 60 to 70 na grade. So, ano kaya ang magiging conclusion natin doon? No? So, draw mag draw logical conclusions supported by process data. Hindi pwedeng mag-conclude ka na wala kang data. And then, make recommendations that are relevant to the study. Na dapat, um, magkaroon ka ng iyong sariling recommendation. Ano mga ba ang pwedeng gawin? Okay? Okay, here is an example of conclusion. So, there is a strong relationship between social media usage and academic performance. To say, it has a very big effect. No? So, the recommendation, the researchers recommends doing a deeper study among college students. So, yan yung ending niya. No? Then, yung recommendation nila. So, deeper study among college students naman. Okay? Kasi senior high school na yung, yung inaaral natin. So, that is on how you formulate your conclusion and recommendations. And of course, hindi mawawala. Ganun, ganun na lang ba yun? You will also have your defense. So, you have to defend paper in front of a panel. So, write a complete scientific report or paper and defend the science project before a panel. So, kailangan ninyong marap sa panel to defend your paper. Okay? So, yun, kailangan din natin mapag-aralan para hindi lang yung point of view yung makikita. Diba? Mas maganda pag maraming heads, no? Para mas alam or mas malawak yung magiging saklaw, mas maraming solutions ang pwedeng mag-come mag up, no? So, ayan. So, I have already group you. Meron na kayong mga groups. Um, color coding tayo sa inyong mga groupings. Nakita nyo naman na. Sinend ko na sa ating group chat. And now, you should work in group and you should do it online. I repeat, you should do it online. Especially, na ganito pa yung situation natin. I, I do not require you to meet personally, face to face. But, do it online. Okay? And then, list. You have to list down all your interests. Kaya nga, pinagsama-sama ko na yung pare-parehas ang course, pare-parehas ang field. Sa pagdating sa college, Para hindi iba-iba yung mga ideas ninyo. Para iisa yung tatahakin ninyo yung landas. Okay? So, list down all your interests, like topics and subject areas which you enjoy tackling. So, kung ano, kung saan kayo nag-enjoy, syempre. Try to come up with possible research or capstone project titles based 
on the things that you listed. Okay? Siyempre, dapat original sa inyo nang galing yung title na yan. Alright? Okay, I have two floating questions here. So, what what is the purpose of a capstone? Para saan ba yun? Diba? And then the other one is, why is it important to have a capstone research? So, here's the answer. Okay, so capstone projects are generally designed to encourage you to think critically, solve challenging problems, and develop skills such as oral communication, which will you will do in your oral defense, your public speaking, your research skill, your media literacy, your teamwork, planning, self-sufficiency, or goal-setting skills that will help prepare you for college. So, we do this um, for your future. Okay? Para sa inyo, imagine kung nagka-come up kayo ng magandang ng isang research or pro capstone project, eto na yung mga magigain ninyong magigain ninyong knowledge or skills, diba? Ito na yung mga magigain ninyo. So, isipin nyo na lang yung mga magigain ninyo. Okay? And it gives a chance to retain whatever you have been learning during your college studies and apply it once they pursue a specific academic profession in college. So, a capstone project can help to hone to hone means to sharpen the research making skills of a learner. I remember class that um, on in your college days, no, pagka naging college students na kayo, hindi pa rin mawawala ang research. Nandiyan pa rin ang research. Okay? Even after your college days, okay, gagana at gagana pa rin yung pagiging researchers, researchers ninyo. Okay, kasi everyday naman yan, may mga katanungan tayo na kailangang sagutin. So, gagana at gagana pa rin itong mga skills natin na ito. Alright? Okay. Next. If you were to choose, which major problem the world would you like to solve? So, again, if you were to choose, which major problem in the world would you like to solve? So, ano nga ba yung gusto nyong isolve dito sa mundo? So, that is a floating question for you to answer. Kaya nga, itong tanong na to ay sana ay makapag-trigger, mamaprovoke ang inyong mga utak to think. Ano nga ba ang magiging capstone project title ninyo? Okay, so if you were to choose which major problem in the world would you like to solve, ano nga ba yun? Okay. And I would like to leave you with this um, quotation from Mark Twain, a writer supposing is good but finding out is better so it will fall still in research so mas magandang hanapin natin kasi kesa magsusuppose tayo supposing, supposedly supposed to be diba? let's find it out ourselves no? it is better para talagang proven diba? Okay, so that's it for our capstone project. I hope you guys learned from our session for today. And that is all. I would like to thank you and stay safe. Um, have a nice day. Bye guys.